see anyone up on the screen. So you've got Karen McAllister. Hi, Karen. How are you? Helen. Hi, Helen. Vivian Patterson. Hi, Vivian. How are you? Thanks for coming. Fiona, Diane and Tracy. Hi, Tracy. How are you? Fiona, Diane. Hi. Thanks, everyone, for coming in. We're all starting to come in now. Great. Okay, it's going to be a good night. We're going to be talking about money and the power of money and how to manifest money tonight. So it's a very interesting night. I'm sure you'll all enjoy it. And we'll be having a big discussion with Violet on that later. And Violet's agreeing which, so she'll be talking about her perspective on how she sees money. Look, if you want to attract money into your life, you really have to have a positive mindset, don't you? Oh, yeah, you've got to know you it's sure yours. Do. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, I've pulled some uh, cards tonight, and this is the end of May, and there's a very funny energy around at the moment. And the first thing I pulled out, which didn't surprise me, was fear. There is a lot of fear around, you know, um, it, where did the virus come from? Was it man-made? Yes, it was. Um, why are we wearing masks? Is it necessary? Uh, is it deadly? Is the, is the new... Uh, it's a new cure, a placebo, blah, blah, blah. All these things are going on, filling our lives, our minds, our emotions with so much fear. And also, you know, what am I going to do with my job and all this sort of thing. So actually I found I went into fear a bit and, you know, sometimes when people go into fear, they close down, that you might put on weight, uh, you feel you don't go anywhere and you become very depressed. And there's been a lot of that, especially a lot of suicides last year I found with my work. And also lots of young people suffering from anxiety and, you know, not having a future. It's been a terrible, terrible lot of fear in the world. So really, get rid of the fear because it doesn't serve you or any, any it does nothing for humanity. So fear is a really negative force that we really need to get rid of. The whole thing for me, being who I am and a spiritualist, is having faith. Have faith that things will always turn out. You know, the world goes in cycles. It goes up and down all the time. And having faith and knowing that you will be okay and telling yourself this every day, you'll have a much better future. So having faith is a really big, a really big thing to have in your life. And without faith, you know, you can become very lost. So remember faith. Always keep the faith. Have faith because it's so incredible this force because it takes you to where you want to go the next card I got was waves of prosperity actually I know a lot of people who have redesigned themselves you know they've, they've you really use the downtime to explore what they want to do where they want to live how they want to improve their health and a lot of people have come out of this time of you know of um confusion being very positive so lots of waves of prosperity for many people many people I know anyway where they've taken the time to as I said reinvent themselves or move and it's it, you know this is a period in time sort of like a reset it's a reset where we start to change we start to think about what we want to do where we want to go and all that sort of thing so waves of prosperity for those who are brave and can reach out and change their lives and make things happen the next card I got was very similar, was time to move on. Time to move on for a lot of old people, coming out of the old ways, harnessing the new energies, becoming the new you. And with that comes a lot of peace, you know, having peace in your life and deciding, I don't need to do that job anymore. I don't need to have those toxic people in my life anymore. Moving away and just creating heaven on earth, peace. It's such a beautiful thing to have, isn't it? You know, waking up every day without worrying about, a job that you hate or people you don't like or feeling bad about yourself just finding peace and you can actually find a lot of peace in nature you know spending time in nature swimming walking and that sort of thing so very important to bring peace and find peace in your life to work at your highest ability in this life anyway the other card I got was the vast universe this is all about widening your energy really expanding your energy and understanding that anything's possible and really anything that you put your mind to or any anything you put your energy to you can actually create so keeping that positive mindset and really creating the life that you want to live and how you want to live it because the universe has so many possibilities and the next card I picked was very interesting it's called great gratitude 
I mean, when's the last time you had gratitude, great gratitude for everything you had in your life? And I really believe that gratitude is one of the principles of a creating, creating abundance in your life because it's profound. You know, when you have gratitude, you start to really see how much you really do have in your life. So anyway, these cards are just here for you to think about and contemplate and understand that anything's possible. So that's why I love using these little inspirational cards. But tonight we're going to be talking about money. I said to Violet, what should we talk about? Because a lot of, over the years, oh, I've spoken to quite a, a lot of psychics and mediums and they always tell me the same things. A lot of people, you know, especially younger people, they used to get back in the day when I was working on TV, people would talk, write in and say, look, I'm, in, I'm bankrupt, I owe so much money on my credit card. And a lot of people don't know how to get out of debt. So money's a pretty horrible thing, you know, to get, because sometimes we, you know, we, we don't have any education on money. We don't really understand money. So money, you can play with money, but you've also got to be aware to sometimes stay within your limits and not go overboard and, and be in debt for the rest of your life. So we'll call Violet in now. Um, have you got a few questions first? I do. Right. People are straight off the bat, so I okay. might give we'll you just, a couple to start <clears throat> the evening. Okay, we'll just do that and then we'll get on to the topic. Hmm. Karen, Karen Byrne, we will have enough money to have a comfortable retirement. Karen, I do feel you do. I, I do feel you will. The first thing is showing me. Um, I've got a picture of the family. I'm, I'm being told you will have enough money for comfort, and a, you'll have a very good lifestyle. And I do feel that um, you see that you or your husband tend to worry a lot about money, but you know you sort of go over and over it all the time. I'm being told not to worry. I'm being told everything will be fine, and I, I feel that you'll surprise yourself. And also, you know, I do see good health around you both too. So you will have enough money for retirement. So, you know, when the time comes, I feel you'll really start to smell the roses and really enjoy that time. Okay, Tracy Nelly Maxwell. Will I make the big move next year? The first thing I get for you, Tracy, is I get a lot of excitement around you. I do feel there is this big move and you've been contemplating it for a long time. And I just feel there's been delays around it is what they're saying. And I feel definitely um, towards next year, I'm getting around April, May, June is what they're saying within those three months. And I see uh, this move will be very good for you. And I see you sort of starting a new life, which would be very good. It's funny because I was talking about that before because there's so many people are making changes, moving and really living the lives that they want to live. It's quite incredible, isn't it? It is. There's so much expansion in the world, which is a, a beautiful thing. So, yes, I do feel that you will have a, a big move for you next year. Kai and Sarah. Hi, Kerry. We have a radio show called Somna. Somna. We are hoping you can give us some insight on what will happen with our work. Look, the first thing I'm getting for you guys is I feel it's kind of like an experiment, your radio show, and I do feel that you'll learn a lot from it, if anything, because I feel both of you are very curious people and it's like you want to grow. It's like you really want to grow and um, I can see it's a wonderful thing. Any creative any creative um subject that you want to do or any anything that's creative you always will grow look I feel it's it's a massive learning phase is what I'm getting there you go it's a massive learning phase and that's what I got yes and I'm being told there's a lot of doubt though and I feel that you need to keep it you need to be in control it's the first thing I'm getting don't let other people come in and take over your show make sure you just do it yourself and you have uh, decide on who you want to come in or what you want to do or what you want to talk about and don't involve too many people because sometimes other people come in and they they'll always try and take over things so if you keep it just small t with yourselves I feel you'll really go and also I feel um, overseas so I feel it'll be going overseas as well so yeah I feel you'll get a lot of success or it's a I feel this is something you've always wanted to do and I feel it's a really good idea I'm not sure exactly what it is but I'm getting thumbs up yeah okay so we'll call Violet in now. We'll have our little discussion. And I just want to say I'll be down at the Mind, Body and Spirit Festival on this Saturday. I'm on the stage at 11 o'clock with my new book called Mediumship through, through Rockville Publishing. So I'd love to see you there. I'll be doing readings from the stage. And afterwards I'll be doing a few workshops around the place, the Sydney area. So, so we've um, got main stage at 11, is 11 it, 11 o'clock, yes. And then we've got the 12. reading. And then I've got the speaker's room and I'm doing yeah. clearing. This is wow. about how to clear your life from negative energies, how to and manifest the life you desire. So, yeah. And you just did a um, book signing and book reading with clearing yes. um, that went 
really, really well. Um, lots of great response from everyone. There. Well, that's good. I'm glad I didn't bore anyone. No, <laughs> and uh, mediumship's coming up as well. So yeah. if you are coming, travelling to Mind, Body, Spirit, Saturday, um, try and jump down, come and say hello. You'll be able to signal me around there and let me know that you're watching the one of our lovely regular watches that would be and, great um, and if you've got any subjects you want to talk about please let us know yeah absolutely because there's so many things with our wisdom what we can help you with yeah so if you spot me down there watching carrie and you want to come and say yes, come and say hello on one of and the watches come yeah. and say hello we and you're coming to the you. shows to the club I shows you're selling your beautiful witchy poo things i'm going to spray people yes she's with, got all these little with witches love and, and little money fairies yeah. and stuff so you know it's totally out there but i love it so it's like a little kid again so we're talking about money tonight Violet. we are cash me cash yes me. so how many people worry about money how many people don't have enough money? everybody i don't i've never worried about money no never. i have to say i've never even through my dark it times, always comes i um that's been the least of least of my concerns and i've had some pretty rough times <laughs> no, we, i think we all have i think yeah. we're all survivors actually yep um well the first thing i've got is you have to have a positive mindset you do yes yeah. because there's nothing like a poor me i never have any money and if you keep talking about i'm fat i've got no money i'm an idiot people will say you are fat you are an idiot and yeah we can see you've got no money yeah, it's true. <laughs> it becomes your reality so it does. stop it you've got mm. to really stop doing that you know really really stop doing that so have a positive mindset and i have abundance in money yeah i i love myself it's it's that if you don't do it you can't expect anybody else to do mm. it for you that's for sure you really need to watch it so every time you go into that poor me mm. mindset of oh i never have any money you got to stop yourself and you say i have abundance in money yep i always have money yep okay the other thing i used to do you know when i whenever i did need money because i know all the tricks mm. I used to visualize money yeah. So I used to do this Barbara Sonic where I used to close my eyes. I'll show you how to do it. Okay. All right. Let's okay. do it. So just close your eyes. All right. We'll get right. Violet to be the guinea pig. You can okay. all do it at home. Okay. So just close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And again. And again. And as you're relaxing, relax your head, relaxing your shoulders. Relaxing your arms, relaxing every single part of your body. And now I want you to think of a happy memory. Mm -hmm. Just think about a happy memory in mm -hmm. your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really feel it. Mm. Smell it. Taste it. Think it. Really think of that happy memory. Yeah, you got it? Yeah, I do. Okay. While you're thinking of that happy memory, I want you now to see a rainbow in your mind's eye and a pot of gold and all the gold falling down, down, down from the sky all around you into a big pile right up it's moving right up all that gold all that pot of gold all that money can you see it it's everywhere oh, I, I can it's see it. all around you've got so much money it's now moved its way up to your neck mm -hmm. it's going on top of your head you're going to drown <laughs> one two three open your eyes that was so just do that actually. exercise. Yeah, I was so, there as a little girl running around with my um dog. It's funny. Sibling. It's funny, you know, when you do that visualization technique and you use the emotion. It's called a vibros vibrosonic. Oh, I love that. So That's when great. you do it, it actually, you don't get all the money you're washing on you, but you have things come to you. Yeah, like you might. Like, I literally I find, um did see a, a huge pile of gold coins. Yes. Yeah, well, you see it. That's the mm. visualization, but in reality. People will say, hey, I've got the hundred dollars back by lent you or I used to find money all the yeah. time on the road. I found I'm telling money. you. I found money in my coat pocket. When it I just pops up from last, anywhere um, when you do that $5. exercise. It's like calling in the leprechauns. Yeah. It's incredible. I got a back payment of Centrelink when I was down to my yeah. nothing. You I'm know, like, it works. Weird things just started happening. Even because you're visualizing and then it starts to manifest, it yep. starts to come in, but the emotion is the key. Mm. Okay, stop worrying. Yeah. It's true. How about people, oh, you know, I can't do this, I can't do that, poor mm -hmm. me, da-da-da. Worry, 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 you get an ulcer in the end. So you've got to stop worrying about money. It will come. Have faith. And, and I know that there's people out there that will say, oh, well, how do I do that when I've got all these problems? I, I've literally, Kerry and I have both sat in all those problems in life, like some yes. really major ones. I think we've done them all <laughs> in our we, spiritual we, contracts. Woo, done the yeah. circle. 
And I would say to you, that is such a true statement. You're sitting there. I literally sat there with candles burning one night with the picnic blanket down. And the key is to see what you do have mm, that's and, true. and to see how much love that you have around you and people that's and not, correct. not focus on that, that what I don't have and, and the doubt and the fear. Yeah, you just really need to let all that crap yeah. go. Yeah. Okay, the other thing is learn how to save those. Yep. I mean, how many people just spend, 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 mm -hmm. credit, use your common sense. Mm -hmm. If you haven't got the money, go without. Mm -hmm. I remember years ago, um, I mean, I, I didn't have any money whatsoever. I was a single mother mm -hmm. and I yep. remember I used to have buy Spam. Oh, so yeah. I couldn't afford oh, to buy meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I used to grill it, fry it, scramble it. Yep. You know? And then one do what day my, I heard my little daughter say, my mother gives me dog food all the time. <laughs> dog food, you know, I'm there, oh, my God, you know. And I thought, no, it's not a spam. <laughs> so I stopped buying it, became a full-on vegetarian. But, gosh, I couldn't afford to buy a piece of meat. Mm -hmm. I was, no, no, that wasn't. It's terrible. I, I, I really, tins of tuna. And... I really know what it's like to be poor, I have to say. I have. Yep. So, and I always said, I'm never going to be like that again. <laughs> I did actually teach myself how to save from being in that position. Yes. I you got do. very good at it. It's really funny what you don't have to spend on. And when you yep. start to save, money comes, you get more confidence. You feel good about yourself. You do, actually. I, I, the more I was able to manage things and put things away, the better I felt about things. Mm. You know, the more confidence I got about that I could do this, you know. The other thing's tithing. I'm, I'm a big, I really believe in tithing. Like I did so many charity shows for yep. so many yep. years. Used to give money to the kids' hospital. 100%. Uh, you know, money from my shows or um, I used to work in soup kitchens, especially when I lived overseas. And um, and I found that everything I gave out always came back tenfold. 100%. Always and give your blankets at wintertime, oh, your yes. old blankets. Like right now, charities need your blankets, mm. your old bedding. Uh, we take that down every year. Or your wash your clothes that you donate to charity. Going down to the salvos. Don't just take a bag of stuff. Wash what you've got. Go through all your cupboards. Take it down and give them the stuff that you really don't need but is still of good quality. Yes. I did a lot, lots of my stuff in my house and still to this day I'm a bit of an op shopper because I used to do my shopping there. I used to get the blankets and the sheets from there. So well, Sadie Di, I think I had every uh, black outfit from St. Finney's. <laughs> People used to say when I went to university, gee, you've got a lot of black clothes. And I said, yeah, because you're actually psychologically invisible. Yes, you know? it's a shield. Yeah, it it's is. It's a shield yourself. I had black dresses, long ones, short ones, mm. skinny ones, you know, <laughs> jeans, black jeans. Everything was black, black, black. So yeah. all from the op shops. Yeah. Yeah. And I've actually Big shout out some to great those. things in the op shops. The op shops are, do you know what I found in the op shop today? Just a little off track, sorry, people. Yeah. I found a psychic Ouija board. It was wow. called the Psychic Game, brand new in the op They're shop. They're not, I don't promote I those, especially with children. No, you know, you can but I was gobsmacked. It was just there. I hope you bought it and took it out. I bought it so that nobody else Thank would you. Buy I was about it. to say that. Oh my I God. I bought it in fear that some teenager may pick it up and take it home and bring a spirit in. Because they yep. don't know what they're doing and they're so, you know, because it's yep. a very so dangerous it's, it's game. It's not a game, the, everyone. Gone to the shelves in my um, room for now. Good. Yep. But um, see, just be careful that, well, you're experienced, so you're okay. The other thing I wanted to say to bring money into the home, if, you know, from a feng shui perspective, mm. on the far left of your home, starting from the front door, or starting from the front of the house, the mouth of the house, uh, you st you just look right directly down to the left side, mm. and that is your prosperity section. That's a really the, good the thing. The right to side, the, the right side is relationships. Okay. So you put a cure there. You can have an amethyst crystal. If mm -hmm. you don't have anything there, if it's cut out, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. You can put a wind chime. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can put in a beautiful crystal, like a citrine. Oh, I in like that. citrine. Citrine, yeah. see that? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I always have a lovely citrine. Fresh flowers. I do that. Always have I fresh always flowers. That. Yeah, yep. in that corner. Also, you might want to put in a quartz crystal. Mm -hmm. I've got a terminator here, and um, you can you program it by holding it in your left hand. Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, you ask it to clear its energy in your left, or give it. You ask the crystal to give it, give you its energy, mm -hmm. and then you program it with your right hand. You ask it what what you want. Mm -hmm. That will bring in. I need more money in my life. Thank you. Bring it in. Mm -hmm. Or do this or that, and you'll find it's quite incredible how crystals Definitely work. Definitely an amplifier. Um, 
it is an amplifier of energy crystals but you have to clear you have to program quartz mm. crystals as you know so that's in a fun way perspective the far left corner is your prosperity section and if it's if you, get, you can even go further up the back you can put in a bird bath yeah i i like or a the succulent idea plant of, well, succulent. I have a lot of succulent, succulent far left put all your succulent plants the far left corner of your home if you've got a house yeah, and um, or you can put a plant, a pot plant, a succulent plant. Mm. You know those soft green. It's the jade. Yes, jade beautiful. trees. Oh, um, I started doing that, and uh, honestly, I can't tell you how my wealth yeah, grew. Absolutely, it's jade is amazing mm -hmm. as a as planting jade, hundred percent, and mint people, mint does wonders. Mints too, yes. Okay, the other thing is believe in your worth. This is your mindset, your victim mentality. Mm -hmm. You know what we talked about yep. before. Hundred percent can't have it. Because if you, re as I said before, if you really believe you're poor, you're fat, you're ugly, whatever, you will become that. That's Especially true. when you tell people all the time, "Oh, I'm, I'm stupid, I'm fat, whatever." People yep. are like, "Yes, you are. You bloody idiot." Mm. You know. Well, we we believe what we're told. Yes, so we if do. you keep you pushing that out there, and so we brainwash everyone by yep. repeating. It. <laughs> yep. Then the other one is focus. Focus on making more money for yourself. Really focus. You. It's like you know, if you're going to be fit, you know, if you're training. Yeah. You're training anything you focus on, anything you're dedicated to, anything you love, it will come in. Yes, yeah, so discipline. So discipline yourself on just making more money, and you'll be surprised. Mm. You might decide to get another job. You might decide to get a better job, and you'll start to really appreciate money and what it can do for you. Because money is basically freedom. It is. That's all it it's is. It's a tool. It's just it, a tool. Money is freedom, and having the freedom to do what you want to do, not being stuck in a rut. Yeah. And also another really good point, stop being jealous. Yeah. How many jealous people yeah. do we know? Oh. How many times do we forget to say, geez, I'm proud of you. It's so I'm true. so happy for you that you've got this really good group going at the moment, Violet. Yeah, it is so true. Yeah, it's like you work so hard. Um, celebrating people's successes. Um, I celebrate Kerry's books. I celebrate these things. You want to celebrate your friend's successes. That's true, but a lot of people don't no, bother. They don't. they don't say, oh, she's written a bloody book again. It's you again. It's like, really? Thank you. I went to university for that. You know? Yeah. It's yeah, just amazing. She studied, travelled around, put in all that time, but, effort. But sometimes people forget because they're so, so caught up in themselves to to really take the time out and say, gee, I think that's I read, amazing. I actually read something really wonderful in this, uh, in, it was in mediumship actually, and you said in there, it, it's about the effort that you put into something. If you want something to mm. grow or succeed, and she was talking about a spiritual gift, but it, it applies to everything. Well, anything you love if and, you want it and to, you dedicate your time to it, it will grow. Yeah, and, it's it, just and celebrate people that mm. have done the hard yards. I love celebrating for people that are yeah. successful and I love su successful people. I genuinely look around me and, and I look at my students that are training to do this and I want them to be able to get where they want to go. Of course you do and you love what you and do. I say to them all the time, you don't need to be like anybody else. There is nobody else like you. Mm. Just do you. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. That's for sure. Just do your thing. And, and be good at it. And, and love it. Life will provide for you. That's for sure. And the, the last point, number nine, is find a role model. Yes. Mm, that's interesting. Like years ago, I started playing bass guitar mm. and I was in a band and I always wanted to be like JJ Vanilla of the Stranglers. Oh, yes. So I thought yes. it was okay. really cool. Yep. So yep. I used to play do do do. <laughs> I used to play the, the yeah. riffs all the yeah. time, you know, because I wanted to be like him. Mm. Or, or then I got into acting. So I always wanted to be like, you know, Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And then with the mediumship, I always thought um, Doris Stokes. Okay. I, read, yeah. wow. I okay. remember I read all of her books. Mm. And I used to think how amazing she was and everything. And, you know, I even used to get a cup like she had, like a cup of tea. Mm. Had the cup of tea oh, she used okay. to drink all the time. And then I thought, Very nice. geez, I hope I don't manifest the cancer in the breast that she got. Oh, yeah, no. Because I started to become old Doris. Yeah. And it was funny because I really, I loved her, her life, her English, you know, even. And then f the funny thing was, um, because I'm a trans medium, I started to channel Doris yeah, Stokes. Yeah, of course, of course. And she started to come into my trans groups and everyone said, oh, my God, Doris came in tonight. And then, and then she helped me work when I started to do yep. the stage back in the day. Yep. She even came in and stood by me and showed me how to work the stage. It was mm. just incredible. 
Yeah, no, it's incredible. True. You do, you do look the, for those um, role models. I had no idea that girls would want to come and help me or work with me, for that matter. Yeah. It's quite incredible how you can, you know, you really get into it, and then it came to my trans mediumship. I'd agree with that. I think Alan Watts was definitely a role model for me, who's who did a lot more, obviously, mindset, Zen mastery. Yeah. Um, I know his books. Uh, but yeah. I just love, I, I used to listen to him on everything I could mm. and just be laughing away because he had a wonderful English mannerism and the way he explained He's things. quite humorous. He, he yeah. was. And Edgar Casey, big, big on Edgar Casey. Yeah, Edgar Casey he was yeah. definitely someone that I uh, read all those transcripts. Well, he was quite amazing. I mean, oh. he used to sleep and he'd get all his information when he was asleep. He did. Yeah, I mean, I found that really weird in a way. Like, well, I have to say that's a lot of how I get my information. Really, when you sleep. And I, I now that you say this, of course, I, I look back and think, God, I've read every transcript and every method of how he would do this. And of yeah. course, sleeping and astral traveling and information streaming yeah. is big for me. It's so funny the people we are attracted to. Like mm. as I said, I always loved Doris Stokes, and I still do. Yeah, she's and she's so beautiful. Yeah, you know, yeah, amazing energy. Yeah. She's she's a very simple, humble woman. I just love that she was so bloody good. Yeah, but I love that about her because she was so gentle and beautiful, and she loved children. Yeah, yeah. and she was the one who inspired me to go and uh, work at the children's hospital. Oh wow! Yeah, so there yeah, you go. That's it. Is fascinating. Good role models definitely help you. Okay, now I've got some goddess Ooh. goddess energies to work with. First of all, we've got Luxmi. Everyone okay. knows Lakshmi. She's the beautiful goddess of fortune and beauty. She's mm. an Indian deity. Yes. So um, if you want abundance in your life, beauty, call on the goddess Lakshmi. The second one is Venus. She's the Roman goddess of love. She's into poetry, music, mm. and this is all about loving yourself and loving others. Yeah, that's correct. And, you know, creating that beautiful space. The third one, of course, is Kuan Yin. Yes. You know, Kuan Yin is yes. a beautiful, she's a Chinese Buddhist yep. um, energy. And it's all about compassion and mercy and healing. And the funny thing with, well, the incredible thing with Kuan Yin, I have her in my prosperity section downstairs. Mm, okay. Uh, it, on a, um, I have a beautiful sort of table, mm. which I've got, and I've placed her in the middle there with beautiful feathers. Yeah. And Kuan Yin releases all karma. Yes. So yes. if you've got problems with, this is so exciting, this stuff. If you've got problems with money, you know, release the karma by calling in the energy of Kuan Yin mm. because she releases all karma. Sure, I didn't think of it that way. But, yes, yes, especially if you do have all those blocks around money. Yes, and um, a lot of people do and they uh, don't yep. know why. And you can bring it in from other lifetimes. Yep. I've done a lot of work on in past life regression with releasing uh, problems with people with money, not, you know, losing money, not money. Not yep. making money, being poor. Hundred percent. You can actually cut the contract. Yeah, and in the Australian bushflowers, Boab's really good for that for releasing all karma and negative energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Um, and that. that's an, that comes from that amazing Boab tree you get in the Kimberleys. Yeah, you know you've seen those big trees. Beautiful. Okay, the other one is Bridget. She's a Celtic goddess. Yes, she is. She's, well, you know about her, of course. She's divine feminine. She most definitely is. She's the maiden, the mother, the wise woman. Yes. She's all about self-empowerment, isn't she, the old Bridget? She's very strong. She's um, one of our original, very strong um, divine feminine in the triple goddess. So really represents um, maiden mother crone mm -hmm. energy and the transformative power that she has. So she really does embody all those things. So, yes, she can bring a lot of healing into your life and she's bring very, a lot she's of very that strength. Too, she? oh, she's very solid too, isn't she? She's very much an well, earth when person. When you channel her, she's very solid. Yeah, very strong, solid, earth-grounded. Mm. And the Celtic energy is so old. It is. It's very similar to the Noshk. Yes, Norwegian, yes, yeah. yeah, very much. Well, the same. I think that they find a lot of um, similar traces between, yeah. between the two. Yeah. Except you don't have the ruins, mm. do you? No, no. Okay, then you have Isis, yep. the beautiful goddess Isis. Uh, she's the earliest goddess in ancient Egypt. Yes. She's all about sacred relationship, uh, sacredness and mm. relationships, bringing the... She's quite sexual too. I actually channeled her and mm. I felt I was Grace Jones for a few mm. um, 
mm. 10 minutes she or so. She was very powerful Yeah, I just saw it's just very black. She was very black, very I sweet, always remember very tall, that, um, very strong, James very strong. Bond movie with her and it, and Grace Jones. Grace Jones, yes. And Do you remember that? And she just looked magnificent. She yeah. looked like a queen. Well, the just, Egyptian, you know, the, the black, the very dark skin. and Yeah, amazing. Just But not everyone was dark skin the, in the Egyptian time. No. But a lot of those uh, women were. Like a lot of people said, oh, Cleopatra wasn't black. But I definitely saw Isis mm. as being dark skin, very dark skin. Very different mixing pot through through that time. I was reading something today actually about um, a particular crystal found in, I think it's Sweden, and it was saying originally it was from Thurl, and Thurl was ancient Greece, which is believed to be in Scandinavia. Well, they all travelled around. So yeah, there's the the land mass was different, the travel was different, everything was different. And um, it's funny because I've always been attracted to the goddess Isis, and I actually mm. had a past life as Isis in the temple as a dancer. Oh wow! I was a okay. professional. I remember it's really funny when I did this past life regression. I, I could see myself right a young girl, mm. and I was being taken to the temple of Isis because mm. to work be, be trained as a dancer, and I could smell the camel poo. Mm. Like I'm sitting on the camel, <laughs> sort of, of riding could. it in the desert in the hot <laughs> sun, and with oh. this very long armed black. I was black. It was quite incredible. Yeah. So no. When I do stuff like that, I'm very visual. <laughs> no. So there you no, go. No, no, no. Probably because my third eye's pretty full so on. You've already said all the things I don't think I could cope with. Camel poo. Yeah. Hot, I... hot, hot. <laughs> as soon as you said heat and hot no, sun. No, heat, yeah, it's because you're very Nordic, yeah. Mm. The other one I have is the muses. These are Greek deities. It's Correct. about yeah. sisterhood, mm. uh, joyful self, expression. You know, the sacred sisterhood. This is all about, which I love, supporting women. Absolutely. You know, and sisterhood. Sisterhood and gathering groups of women. Okay, let's have a sacred women's group here. Yeah. Let you know, the Aboriginal women do it. You know, they have women's business. Yeah, which you know, is and the men amazing. aren't allowed. And I think women should do that too. We have sacred women's business and no men allowed. Get lost. Yeah, well, it's you know? really important that women get so. back to that idea. Well, of it's people. all about supporting your yeah. brother, your sisters, yep. supporting each other instead of going competition. Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, you know, we should be holding each other up. For sure. Celebrating each other's wins. Too many wins. people, you know, like these women who take other people's men, oh, you yeah. know, the husbands that you see it all the time. Yeah, no. Yeah, and, um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm very pro-woman, so there you go. Then we have Green Tara. She's a Tibetan Buddhist. She's the mother goddess. She's very protective, Green Tara. Yeah, very nice energy. Very gentle goddess of action, though, great strength, protective powers warding off evil and mm. sh spirits and shielding from spiritual harm. So I think Green Tara is very good if you're very sensitive or you're an empath, like call her in, call in Green Tara That'd to come and nice. work with you, to come yeah. and sit with you. She's a beautiful energy, isn't she? That, she feels very soft and gentle, yeah. And then we have White Buffalo Calf Woman. She's one of your favourites, isn't she? <laughs> She's I, I actually, until this evening, people, this is one of Carrie's. I, I did not know. So this is me learning too this evening. Okay. She's a Native American spirit woman. Look, I love all this sort of stuff because I actually have an Indian chief who I work with. Okay. White Lovely. Feather. Yeah. So, I and I've had a lot of past lives, Indian lifetimes in oh, America. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. And so when I've gone there, I've just, oh. You're taken you. with it. Mm. Yes. Um, well, this beautiful goddess, white buffalo calf woman, she actually brings in integrity, peace. She creates peace. Peaceful communities, you know, bringing peace to the communities. And the affirmation here is peace to my right, peace to my left, peace to my front, peace to my back, peace for top, peace for bottom. I now manifest peace into my life. Mm. Isn't that a great affirmation for everyone? It is it really is. to surround yourself in that idea of peace. So they're just a few suggestions to do with creating abundance of money to you, working with having that mindset and working with those beautiful goddess energies. And what are you, what's your spiel on all this money? <laughs> Look, we, we have That's some interesting witch. little um, uh, techniques of bringing in some money. So one of our favourite ones for everyone out there, first off, uh, if you want to have a little look at your wallets and purses and your handbags, I'll give you a really simple one. We love red, green and gold. Those are the only colours your purses should be in. Red, green or gold. These are the symbols that are going to attract money. Now obviously red is to bring it in a little bit faster, gold is for the abundance and green is for the cash, right? 
<laughs> and, and what we like to put in our wallets, I probably have one tucked in my wallet. Yeah, have you got one? I might actually have one of these little things because I choose. It's always these. making these little things. I tend to carry it around. Yeah. Oh, look, I do have one because I never go anywhere without one of these in my purse. It's going to break up because it's been in there so long. Look at this. If I could show you Actually, inside I've got a big it. coin. I've got a big gold coin that I... I'm pulling it out here. And that, oh, there, is a bay leaf. A bay leaf. There you go. So in my purse and on all my financial things are bay leaves. And bay leaf is the representation of money. Now, you can create your own little special at-home ritual with this. So you get bay leaves. You can get these from the supermarket. And say you have a particular bill you'd like to pay. Say you've got the electricity bill and you're running a little bit short. You can actually write the amount that you're short and the amount oh God, you need. That's funny. Yeah, on here. Yeah. And then what you do is you <laughs> say, money, money comes to me easily and effortlessly. Just with a bay leaf. Yeah. And then you drop it in the fire and the money will come in. Really? Mm -hmm. So how many, how many bay leaves do you have to have? Yeah, well... Each bill needs a bay leaf. <laughs> right. So you, can, so you, you it's buy a packet. It's a payment. It's so, a bay leaf. So you eat. You buy. You eat. You buy a packet of bay leaves, do you? Yes, I do. But right. I, I keep them always in here with my money in, mm -hmm. in here, and I always pop them in anything that I'm carrying around that might have cash in them. Okay. So that's just to keep the money flowing back into my wallet. So get out there and get those bay leaves, everyone. Yeah. So there you go. Grow them even. Grow them. Okay. Grow and dry Not them. Not everyone's got a green tar <laughs> fingers like you. Okay. No, they can't be hurt by trying it. And trust me, it works. All right. <laughs> we're going to get on to the question times now because I can hear everyone saying, hurry up. Okay. It's like Mr. Squiggle. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be, if I'm turning my head, I'm talking to spirit. If I'm stand, if I face this way, I'm talking to my guides. Also, I'm going to be using my mythical tarot cards to pull out a few cards as well for some of your questions. And um, so I get their messages pretty fast because I work very fast, probably because I've got a fast brain. So, yeah, so send those questions in now and off we go. So thanks for joining us. Our, tonight's been all about money, so we've given you quite a few tips on that. So we'd like a bit of feedback, please, if you've got it. That would be great um, to see what you think. Okay, Veronica. Hello, Veronica. How are you? We've had a lot of family issues lately uh, with, with will things improve. The first thing I'm getting is I feel that you may have like a big, big block of energy in your home where you live. So I would be the first thing I do for you is what I'm getting is I feel you really need to give your house a big sage out. Um, like a big, which you know what that is. Um, so give it a big, because um, I feel you might have a few ghosts or unwelcome visit visitors in your house is what I'm getting. So you might need to clear it out. So you can give it a bit of a smoke out, um, give it a sage out, and also uh, get, get rid of any clutter or anything that you have in your home too. Just give your house a big haul out. And also the car you need to sage out too, because I feel you've got a few spirits in your house is what I'm getting. And I can see like small little niggly things coming up. Um, I don't know if you had a sick pet as well, but I just feel things haven't been going well. And um, I feel if you give your house a really good, I feel you've got a few spirits in your house. Things will work out, arguments, differences of opinion. That's definitely um, lost souls in the house is what I'm getting. So give it a really good smoke out. Um, get rid of all the clutter in the house. Throw out what you don't need and bang, things will start to change you. And then I get new beginnings coming for you. There you go. I feel you've got a few spooks in your house, Veronica. I think you know that. So you really need to give it a smoke out. So get them out of your house. Sharon Timmis, Timbers, I'm stuck in life and need a fresh start to move. Can you see that for me? The first thing I'm getting for you, Sharon, I feel that you're very sort of emotional. So I feel that you've had a bit of emotional baggage in your life is what they're telling me. And I feel you, I'm talking to a lady here in spirit. I feel it's like a mother figure. I feel it could be a grandmother person is what I'm getting. She's telling me she was very close to you. She had trouble speaking towards the uh, end of her life. And um, she's with you now. And she said, you need to change. I feel that you need to get rid of the people. You need to do a basic big shift in your life. Get rid of people that no longer serve you and cut the ties. Um, I have a lot of those exercises on my website, cutting the ties. Cut the ties of people that don't serve you because I do feel things are going to change for you 
and um, just get rid of those toxic people out of your life and things will, um, new beginnings coming up for you. You really need to sit down and think about what you want to do with your work too is what I'm getting. I just feel you're stuck in a rut because I feel you just, some, something's sort of really pushed you and I feel it's emotional. So cut the ties with people that no longer serve you and move on. That's what I'm getting. Tony Woods, I've been with a guy for seven months. I feel he is hiding a secret. Is there a problem or lie? Um, the first thing I'm getting for this guy with Tony, I feel that um, if you're feeling that with this guy, I don't feel he's the right person for you because relationship, I feel this relationship is very limited, I have to say, because I feel it's been like this for a while and I feel um, you're a very intuitive person. You've been feeling this long time and I feel you need to um, really talk to him, sit down and say, listen, I want to talk to you. I want to know what's going on and um, you need to tell otherwise I won't be able to go out with you. I don't pick him up as a bad person. I just feel that you need to clear the air with him and you need to be straightforward because that's who you are because you're a person that you've been hurt before. You don't want to muck around and you'll be very disappointed and you won't want to stay with him if he doesn't open up to you. I do feel there's a few things he hasn't told you about and I feel it's to do with the relationship. Okay. Vivian Patterson, can you see love for me with this guy I am talking to? Vivian, for you, I feel that it's, um, I pick you up as a very timid person. I feel that you're very shy and I feel there's been a lot of hurt in the past, but I feel that you're like a little mouse has just come out of their house and you're starting to meet people. And um, I think it's really good for you because you're a wonderful person. I do feel there's been a lot of issues for you, especially a stiffening. I don't know if it's your back or I feel very stiff when I talk to you. So I feel you may have it. Uh, limb issues or back or tightness in your back because I feel it's from stress and worry and stuff. I feel that um, this person you're talking to, I do feel is nice, but I don't feel it's going to be long term. Um, but I just feel it's a, it's a beginning for you is what I'm getting. I feel it's the beginning. I don't feel this guy is long term. Though. I feel it's kind of like more of friendship because um, you're just starting to come out. I don't feel you're 100% ready yet, but I feel he may have a few problems too is what I'm getting because you seem to attract, attract men who have problems in their life for some reason so um i feel it's more like a friendship i have to say but keep going because i feel that i'm getting more towards the end of the year things are going to turn for you okay and o oberg i've just finished a healing course is this going to work the first thing i'm getting is i feel you're doing lots of courses and because you're a person that you're starting to really expand with your spiritual gifts and your yearning to help people in the world this course you've done i feel it's like a key i see a key and i feel it's sort of opening things up for you so i feel this is the first thing of many things to do will it work yes because it's opening up the gate and i can see new all this new things coming in i feel that um I feel, I don't know if you thought about it, but I feel you'd be very good at like a counselling course. You're very good at talking to people, listening to people and that sort of thing. So I do feel there's more study for you. And yes, I do see success for you because I do feel that you're on the right track. And also it's been very cathartic for you to help all these people because it's helped you clear your own issues. So it has been good, yes. And it has been successful. Gemma Hardy. If I cut back at work, will I be able to financially be stable? Look, I do see you, Gemma cutting back for a while because it's almost like you need time out for now because I feel you've had a lot of things been going in your life and I feel you're tired and you've come to a you hit a wall so I do feel that you may you, you may cut back for a while and then I feel you'll it's like you have to rebuild so you do cut back you sort of um, take more time with your health is what I'm getting and your emotional body because I feel you've been going you've been processing a lot of things in your life but you've hit a wall so it's time for you to sort of step back take the time out and then uh, you'll expand more towards the summer months, more work then. So, yes, I feel it would be a good idea to do that. Just follow your intuition because I feel you know exactly what you have to do. Erica Renee, should I reach out to an old friend? There was a breakdown in our relationship. I should have let it go. The first thing I get, I feel no. I don't feel, even if you do talk to your old friend, Eric, I feel contracts finished is what I'm getting. I feel it's come to a stalemate. And um, it's, why should it be you? Why should it be you? Why can't the other person talk to you is what I'm getting. I just feel, uh, I don't feel anything's going to be resolved. I don't think, feel it's the same. I can't really see the relationship sort of getting to another. I feel that person's there and you're sort of there. It's gone to another level. So I don't feel that it's going to be close. You could, but might be associates, but it's not like it used to be. I'm being told it's come to an end, this contract. Brittany Clark, why do I keep seeing 11-11? Will the person I'm seeing drop their wall soon? 
I feel, Brittany, with you, you've got a lot of patience, haven't you? You sort of persevere no matter what. 11.11 is all about an awakening. It's about you awakening up to your spiritual knowing, your spiritual feelings, your spiritual, your gut feelings. And with this person that you're, the person that you're talking to, I just feel that um, it's almost like a wild animal, doesn't really want to give you anything. Um, I don't mean to be horrible, but I just feel you've got a lot of love and I just feel you're pouring all this love into this person. And um, I just feel there's a lot of hurt with this person. So I would suggest that you tell your friend to go and see a counsellor. And I feel they need to do the personal work, take personal responsibility for themselves, Brittany. Go see a counsellor, go sort their own stuff out because, you know, they're missing out on meeting someone very special like you because you've got a lot to offer. You've got a lot to offer, Brittany. So why should you do all the work? So send them off to get counselling and see how it goes then. If they do that, if they're willing to improve themselves and take personal responsibility, I feel, yes, things will change. Tanya Elsick. Do you see a relationship for me happening soon? Look, I just feel, uh, Tanya, I feel you've got lots of, you've had lots of health things going on. You've had lots of things going on. I feel for you, relationships, I feel, I, I don't feel anything really big's going on, but love is something that you've been wanting for a really long time. Just give a bit of patience, a bit of time and put more energy into it is what I'm getting. And I do feel that you will meet someone. I do see a lot of happiness around you, but I just don't get so much now. I feel it's more really big in the summer months for you. Melissa Jane. Will we be granted the loan for a, a truck to expand our business? I feel definitely, I see a lot of expansion around you, Melissa. Uh, Melissa. Um, I do feel that the... I feel that the business is going to go really well. So, yes, I do feel that um, there will be um, another truck, but I feel there's delays with that is what I'm getting. But eventually, yes, is what I'm getting. Um, the, look, the contract will come to get the loan, but I feel that it's a time thing. I just feel delays around that. So um, I just feel a lot of expansion around you guys, so the business will build it. But it might just not be the right time exactly now, but it will come. I do see it coming eventually. There you go. Yeah, a lot of perseverance, isn't there? It must be, you know, that's typical winter, isn't it? Oh, it is. As we're coming into winter, we just have to persevere with everything we want. Okay. I'm starting to get a few spirit people coming. So I don't know if anyone can take a bill. I've got a man who had cancer in the spirit world. He said his name's Bill. I feel he's a father of someone out there. So if anyone can take a bill, he had cancer. I feel he's just passed in the last couple of years is what I'm getting. It's quite recent it's not a long time ago he sends his love this is the man that sort of used to like he liked to use his hand he's telling me he has uh relatives out there and he wanted to say hello so william bill he wants to say hello um i'll just put it out there and um he's he's the message for you guys is everything's going to be okay i feel there's been a few family issues but everything's going to be okay is the message sometimes these messages could come through for a few people is what i get they could be double links Okay, Melanie Wilsop. Hi, Kerry. Will I have enough to retire next year? Uh, have we done that before? No. Okay. Melanie Wilsop. Um, I feel that even though you're planning on retiring next year, I, I, I keep seeing you, you may be doing extra, you might be doing more time is what I'm getting. I don't feel that you'll want to retire next year is what I'm getting. I feel there could be some extra work coming or you making a rethink about that, but I feel that you may expand. I feel that you may expand the time and I don't know if you're really going to retire next year or you could be working part-time is what I'm getting. I still see money working. Okay, Vicky Connor, I'm thinking about buying our first home. Will we be successful? The first thing I'm getting, Vicky, is I feel this has been your big dream for a very long time. Will you be successful? I get yes. I feel because this is something that you've always wanted. You're very focused on it. And where there's a will, there's a way, Vicky, for you. Vicky, I get a, a grandmother figure around you. I feel you're very close to your grandmother and she used to look after you when you are a little girl. She's like a mother to you is what she's saying. And she said, you will, don't worry, things will work out for you. Stop worrying about everyone and concentrate on you is the message for you. Dana Harris. Will I end up in a relationship with this guy and move in? The, the first thing I'm getting for you, Dana, is I feel that you need to slow down this relationship you're talking about because I feel you're sort of jumping in. You're wanting to move really fast. and I feel you need to take it slow because I feel you, may, you don't really know this person very well is what I'm getting. So you need to really... Um, you need, need need to really slow this down, Dana. Really slow it down and um, get to know him a bit better. And because look, why jump into relationships? Because you end up being the slave anyway, don't you? So just take your time. Is what I'm getting. Don't rush that. Yes, bill. it's pretty hard, isn't it? 
So I feel you need to take your time, um, Dana. So make sure you do that. Okay. Eleanor, three weeks ago we decided to cut ties and go no longer together. What serves me? Uh, uh, this is for Eleanor. Please talk about manifestation. Manifestation. Oh, that, uh, old one. That's, for That's an old one, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't really understand that. Okay, Jacinta. I've look. I really believe once you make a decision on certain things, you, it's not good to go back. Cause you'll find it's often the person won't change. The person don't want to know. It's all about moving on and finding people that are more into your energy, that are on the same wavelength. Because you know sometimes friendship contracts don't last forever, do they? No, they don't. Yeah, sometimes and, they're there for that small yes. period of time. I was friends with a woman for eleven years, and. Because I said I didn't want to work with her anymore, she told me that she didn't want to know me. And I was very upset by it in the beginning and I realised she actually freed me because it didn't feel right. So, you know, so it works out really well in the end when these things happen. You just need to move on and let things go. Jacinta Seraphim, do you think justice will be served for my auntie? Look, I feel your auntie is actually going through quite a long time uh, quite a hard time but I do feel that justice will come out eventually is what I'm getting I know it's been very tough for her and she's been very hurt but I do feel she will land in her feet on her feet in the end and um, you know often things aren't what they seem so I feel the person who's caused the injustice will definitely suffer karma for sure and I feel they're going through it now so yeah I feel your, your auntie's going to be fine Rebecca O'Neill recently lost my stepmom and stepdad Rebecca I do feel that um, your stepmom and your stepdad are together I feel that they really loved you is what I'm getting I do feel that there was a strong bondness there and um, it's funny because they died sort of not so long from each other is what I'm getting and I do feel the loneliness there for you I feel it's been very hard for you but I do see a lot of love coming for you and your stepmom I feel that you were like a daughter to her is what I'm getting um, and if you didn't know, she wants you to know that you were like a real daughter for her and she really loved you. And um, she really admired you and everything you've done and, and what you've done with your life and how you've come up from the low into high things and what you've done with your life is what I'm getting. So I do feel these people are very proud for you. And, you know, simplicity is the thing for you, just appreciating the simple things in life. Also, your stepmom loved flowers. So um, she would like to buy you. She would like you to buy some flowers, is what she's saying. Buy yourself some flowers, love, is what you're getting. She's talking about daffodils. So there you go. Okay. Leanne White. I don't want to go back to my part-time job, but I'm worried my boss won't give me a good reference. My hours have been cut, told over the phone. I've been loyal for three years. Any advice? The first thing I'm getting for you, Leanne, is I feel that your patience has been incredibly, you've been very tolerant with this woman, this bully, this person, whoever this person is. And I feel she's a very nasty thing and I feel she's actually making you sick. So I would definitely um, go and look for another job. Look, I do feel that there may be a female, you know, that um, I feel she's been talking behind your back to this person, this boss. So I feel she's a very nasty person. Um, and I can see this negativity around you and I feel as soon as you walk from there something good will come sort of immediately I feel there's a new opportunity it might be someone that you know is what I'm getting so it's almost like a sort of cursy thing in a way so as soon as you walk away from there I feel that you'll get another job and you'll definitely move away I can't see you there I feel a couple of weeks and you'll be out of there is what I'm getting so I feel it's like a blessing in a way because um, definitely new work coming I feel someone's going to offer you something so you need to go with the new things and um I wouldn't even be going there because I can see definitely new work coming. You might be slow for a little while because I can see you're walking out of there in the next couple of weeks and then um, you'll just get a job and then more work will come is what I'm getting. I'm being told work is coming. So have faith. I feel that you're being helped from the other side. I feel your mother's helping you big time. Your mum's helping you. And um, I feel there's a female friend who may offer you work or um, ask you to do something. So I definitely see work coming from people you know around you. So it's funny. You really need to get out of this toxic environment. I feel it's been really doing a head in, but you've got lots of spiritual assistance around you. And don't worry about money. It will come. 
um, I feel you do really well, Leah, and you're a lovely girl and um, good things to come with those who have faith. So, yes, you need to really move away from this toxic woman, this toxic person you've been working with because I feel she's been undermining you. I can see talking in the business about you and sort of really putting you down, but, you know, it'll come back to her is what I'm getting. I feel she may have health issues. She's definitely got mental issues anyway. Okay. Um, just people would like you to clarify if you're still doing face-to-face -face readings or how they can get a reading. Okay. I'm not doing face-to-face -face readings. I've been doing telephone readings the last two years, but I've actually put my website, I've closed my website for now, closed down the readings because I'm actually working on a few creative projects. So I'm not sure when I'll be back doing private readings again, but I am doing spirit shows and I do get through large numbers in the audience. So if you come to the show, there's a healing or you'll get a reading or something like that. And um, they're very entertaining. And often I get my, I might get like double links, like I might be giving, uh, like with this Bill guy who came through tonight. Often I'll get double links and I might give a reading to someone and then the other person will mean the same for them. So often that's what spirit does when, when they're trying to get as many people as possible. So we'll be doing the spirit shows. So come along to the spirit shows. They're very educational. And also there's uh, lots of readings. I'm not sure about doing the private readings at the moment. Um, I'm just taking a break. So this is the last reading for the night. Colleen Donnellan. Will I open a successful business? Any messages from Dad? The first thing I'm getting you for Colleen, I feel that um, your father is a very big supporter of you. I feel that he's um, really wants you to, I feel you've got your mother on the other side too. There's a lady there anyway. And But I feel you've this closeness, this bond to your father. I feel you and, her, you and him were very good mates is what I'm getting. I feel he may have been good with business or um, I don't know if he was accountant or what he did, but I feel he was good with numbers and business. And he's telling me you've been wanting to have your business for a very long time, but I feel you've been wanting to because um, you're kind of fed up in a way with what you're doing. So I do feel that you will get your own business and I feel it will be successful. But I feel that you need to think about really what you want to do. And um, there may be a woman who's going to help you too, Colleen. Um, so really... It's about taking a leap of faith for you because at the moment you're kind of at the crossroads. You're thinking, oh, I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Your dad's saying that you can always work part-time in part time in your work and create your own business and put your energies in there and just work part-time with the work that you do. Um, I feel he was good with business is what I'm getting, so he's telling me to tell you that. He also said he's with, um, there's a woman in the spirit, spirit world. It could be your mum, I'm not sure or a mother figure. It's either your mum or your a mother figure is what I'm saying. He said he's with her. And um, he he's a person that he didn't like to complain. And he was a man of simple words. And he's just telling me he's very proud of you. You've come a long way. And he's telling me it's time, time for you to fly, time for you to do what you love and get your business going, your plan. Also, I don't know what sort of business you do, but you may be working for other people is what I'm getting. That's what he's telling me may be working from other people is what he's saying and he's telling me about the good friendships around you too he said you've got a lot of supportive people around you also i feel there might have been some money that he gave you too or there was some money coming is what he's saying and he said he hoped it would help you he said i wish i had done more he's just telling me he's very proud of you very very proud and he wants you to be happy and he wants you to be you also next year, I feel he's talking about there's going to be some sort of travel coming up for you, Colleen, overseas. So I'm getting the British Isles. I don't know whether you thought about that, but I feel it's Europe, Britain, that sort of thing is what I'm getting. I feel it's more towards September, October next year. Um, Europe is what I'm getting. So I do definitely get overseas for you. Something I think you've been thinking about for a while. So financially, you'll be okay not to worry. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, well, I think that's that's uh, it for the night. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoy the discussion with Violet tonight and it's very interesting, in, isn't it? So anything that you really want to improve in your life, just put lots of positive energy into it, focus and try some of the tips because they work for both of us because we've both been through highs and lows in our life, haven't we? We definitely have yes. and we've had a lot of lovely feedback from people tonight and the other thing with work you know like with work and stuff when people you know really toxic to you or treat you nastily sometimes it's a push for you to move on to do things that you really want to do and you like like for example you're working in a job you hate it and you've been thinking about getting into a business for a while sometimes the spirit comes in and you know creates these situations where where the person is horrible to you because they're actually kicking you in the bum to get out there and do your own thing and do your work and because you're procrastinating, that's what I get with a lot of things. So things happen for a reason, 
you know, so don't take it so personal and just learn to read the signs and, you know, really be learn to believe in you and just enjoy the time because this is the best life of all in this lifetime. We all have many lifetimes, but make the best of this lifetime and um, don't worry about anything. Look at the signs, everyone. If you get signs, you know, look at the signs around you, numbers, clouds, um, look at the clouds, see what's in the clouds, names of streets, spirits always trying to give you signs. Um, synchronicity, you might hear a favourite song from a loved one because loved ones are always around us uh, trying to make contact with us all the time, trying to support us through these difficult times. Um, you might smell your, your grandmother's or your mother's favourite perfume or you might have a feeling that, you know, a dream, feelings, dreams, you might have, you might dream about loved ones, the spirits are around us, you know, they're just coming in to try and comfort us through the difficult times. So none of us are ever ever alone we've always had our loved ones by our side and and just ask them for help because that's what they're there for they're here to help us also you've got the angelic realm to come in and help you know angels of money please help me bring me in more money B create a home for me you've got mother mary there you've got all the goddesses and that sort of thing so you know you've got so many people helping you so many spirits helping you so much love in the world so learn to tap into that love because no one has to be poor Remember, money is freedom. Money is freedom. So if something bad is happening to you in your life, learn to walk away and don't go backwards, okay? Anyway, love and blessings to you. Hope to see you at the Mind, Body and Spirit Festival. Come up and say hello to Violet's going to be down there with me. I will. Me. I'll be down there. And um, I'll have my, come find us. Come say hello. Yeah, come say hello. I'll have my Sydney promoter, Bernice, with me. Um, I just have a quick little thing from yes. Jacinta, Sarah Finn. She was the lady that you answered the question on her auntie and her auntie had passed. Yes. Um, and she just said she's a little concerned um, about coming to a live show that her auntie wouldn't come through and so, because she died in not such a lovely way. No, no, no. They come through all the time. And also not everyone gets a reading at those shows, but you'll definitely feel their energy. I'm also a physical medium. So sometimes a lot of people say they feel touched in the audience, loved ones touching them, and you will get some sort of healing there. But not everyone gets a reading. Not everyone. It depends on how good the spirits are if they push through. It's Absolutely. all about the spirits pushing through. I'm just the medium, the radio. I just get the direct link. They're talking to me. So the ones who make it through. So, yeah, it's, it's an incredible evidence of proof of survival that our loved ones are there so these shows that's what they're for it's about educating educate educating the public that you know spirit and love is eternal anyway good night for now everyone thanks for joining us good night good we'll night. see you at the mind body spirit festival oh yeah lots yeah of bye bye come up and say hello bye. bye lots and lots and lots of feedback people loved money is that all yeah